Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering Application Programming Interface or API as a data source. In today's data-driven world, we need to integrate data from various sources to make informed decisions. One such critical data source is API. We will use the exchange rate information, which is vital for financial analysis and reporting. We will ingest exchange rate data from the exchangerateapi.com using the data load tool and integrate this data into our Postgres database. This is the API call and it provides exchange rate information in JSON format. The result of the API call provides the following output. We will transform this result into a required format using Python and ingest it into a database using DLT. This API call fetches the latest exchange rates with US dollar as the base currency. With this backdrop, let's go ahead and code this solution. DLT is a prerequisite for this, so make sure to install and configure this library. I have covered it in this video here. You can also set up Postgres if you like to persist the data in a database otherwise, you can save it into a file. We have a new Python file open in VS Code. As usual, we will import the required libraries at the top. In order to interact with this exchange rate API, we need an API key. You can sign up and generate a free API key. I have generated a key and we will use it for this demonstration. Next, we build a URL with our API key and pass it the base currency of USD. We invoke the API with the request library and parse the JSON response. Before loading the data into your database, we need to transform it into a suitable format. Here, we'll convert the JSON data into a dictionary that can be easily ingested by DLT. First, we grab the conversion rate node that contains the currency code and the exchange rate. Then we convert this to a data frame and increment the index from 0 to 1 by adding 1. Along with this, we add a new date column using the date time. We can use this as the load date. We rename the columns and finally convert this data frame to a dictionary that is required by DLT. Now we will process this data set using DLT. So using the DLT convention we covered in the previous DLT videos, we create a pipeline, provided a name, destination, and schema name. We run this pipeline and provide it with our data set, write disposition, which is set to merge, meaning on each run we append to existing data, this requires a primary key. We provide a composite key which consists of multiple columns and finally our target table name. This is all the code required to process an exchange rate API. Let's save our work and give it a run. Our API pipeline ran successfully. We can open our Postgres database, expand the target schema and locate the FX rates table. We can query this to make sure it contains the exchange data. The query produces the exchange rate data. We can verify it against the source and make sure our logic is correct. So this is how we can integrate an API as our data source and we extract, transform and load data into our system using the DLT. Feel free to adapt the provided scripts and methods to fit your specific requirements and tools. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.